Hi, I'm Tia Ward and this is my series of Models Corner on Hall Rocks. So as you know, being on a plane, it's very drying. So the products and the tips and tricks I'm going to give you today are hopefully going to allow your skin to retain as much moisture as possible and have you looking fresh after your flight. So the first product I would use on a long haul flight to help my skin retain as much moisture as possible is the Moisture Booster from Indeed. And um, these guys produce incredible products. They have a retinol range. They also have um, incredible sheet masks and I'll, I'm sure at a later date I'll talk to you about those. But um, for now, I'm using this little genius, which is a serum and it helps your skin retain up to a thousand times its weight in water. So I wouldn't use too much, just like a, a 10 pea size blob, rub it in my palms and get it all over my skin. And I rub the remainder into my hands because your hands get really dry on flights. After using my hyaluronic acid serum, um, I would usually put on this Sisley Express Flower Gel. Now this is a hydrating, toning and firming mask and it really does help to keep the moisture locked in on the skin. I usually use this as more of a film, so I'll show you how I would apply it. I take a generous amount and just spreading it evenly over the face. And this film helps to hold all the moisture that that serum we used before has helped lock in. This is a great product for helping your skin retain as much moisture as it possibly can. And the, the barrier it creates is great for if you want to have a nap or you just want to catch some films. It works silently and you don't look like a crazy person to anyone else. Anyone else wouldn't know you had anything on your face. On top of the Sisley mask, I would, if I feel particularly dry that day, use an eye cream. This one is by Astolift and it's incredible. It's scented really nicely. It really helps your eyes retain their youthful plump appearance. And if you've got any fine lines or if you're really tired, it's a great way to keep the moisture in. And always pat your under eye skin, never drag, because the skin underneath your eyes is so sensitive. You don't want to upset it or aggravate it. This cream also works to reduce any puffiness that might accumulate over the course of the flight. After I apply my Sicily face mask, I like to ensure that my lips are hydrated and I do this with the Cult Classic 8 Hour Cream. Now, this stuff is incredible. You literally only need the tiniest amount and just dab it on your lips. And any remaining products I have, I like to rub it into my cuticles because your hands do get very dry on flight. The next step in my on-flight regime would be to use a night cream. I'm using Astolift's Regenerative Night Cream today. It's really great and it complements the eye cream that we just used really effectively. Um, if you're taking a nap on a long-haul flight, I can assure you, if you apply this on top of everything else I just told you, your skin will be really fresh when you wake up. So again, you don't need a lot. This is how much I'm using. I rub it into my palms and just press it over that film we, we created with the Sisley mask. This is a really thick product and you don't want to massage it into your skin too much. You want it to almost act as a double barrier on top of the Sisley mask we just used. So you just press it into your skin gently, rub the remainder into your hands and then pop on your, your eye mask that they give you that blocks out all the light and catch some Z's. So after you've taken your nap and you're probably feeling a little bit groggy and Air Stewardess has woken you up for a not very appetising lunch or dinner, uh, now's the time to get your stuff, head to the loo and wipe off what you've already got in your face. So I carry wipes with me um, in my little travel bag. Any good quality cleansing wipe that agrees with your skin is fine. Um, so you head to the loo, take out your wipe and just get rid of the fine film that you should still be able to feel. Your skin shouldn't be dry because we've ensured that the barrier we created has held as much as it possibly can in terms of moisture. Now I'm using Astolift's Day Cream. It's the counterpart to the night cream and it's also brilliant. This brand is relatively new. They're a Japanese brand and they use the technology uh, that Fujifilm used to develop uh, their film. It's very, very high in collagen so it helps your skin stay very soft and supple. So, 
This is a bit more of a massaging action. You want to wake up and revive your tired skin and help yourself feel a bit more rosy. <laughs> if you can't bear to get off the flight with no makeup on, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to minimise what you have on your face but maximise the effect of the makeup. Firstly, I would start with using a creamy concealer. You don't want to use anything too dry because your skin will be feeling a little bit dry and tired. Hopefully less so after the beauty regime I just showed you. Uh, so I'm using Max Select Cover Up. It's a very creamy formula and it's great for dry skin or tired eyes. I apply it using a foundation brush when I come off a flight, just so I don't have to carry multiple tools with me. So I would take my fingertip first and just dab it on roughly over the eye cream that we applied. And then taking the brush, just dab it gently over the eye area. This flathead brush is really great for applying all kinds of products. Cream formula blush and even a mineral powder foundation. Now, as you may or may not know, mascara is probably the best way to cheat a wide awake look. So today I'm using Hourglass's Film Noir Mascara. Now this stuff is really great at separating your lashes, giving a fluttery false lash effect uh, if you really go in with the layering. But today I'm just going to use the tiniest amount just to, to widen up the eye and awaken your face. A good trick is to only apply the mascara on the outer corners of your, your eyelashes. It really helps to elongate your eye and create a very fluttery, feminine look. Uh, you can also dab a little bit on the outer lower lashes. Brows are really important for framing your face, so I would first give them a brush through with a spoolie. So to fill in my brows, I would usually use a powder. Um, this is by MAC and it's called Cork. It's like a, an auburny brown shade, but it doesn't get too red over the course of the day. And to apply that, I would use a 266 brush by MAC, which is a beautiful angle brush um, with natural bristles, it's brilliant. And again, just lightly filling in the areas that are sparse. Eyebrows are a really personal thing and they're personal to the individual. So whatever you feel comfortable with, go for. But the lighter the look, the, the more natural the look is probably best when you get off a plane. So there's nothing too long-winded about this. The last step is the eight hour cream again, just to hydrate and plump your lips. It's the best way to look polished, I think, without going overboard. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know below in the comments box if any of these products are products that you've used or if you have any recommendations that anyone else could try or that I can try, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box below. Subscribe to the channel, hit like if you've liked what you've seen, and next week I'll be back with a tutorial about pink and how to wear pink for spring, and I've got some really exciting new products for you guys, so stay tuned.